Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and 10 years ago today Watch Dogs 1 was released and I kind of just wanted to make this video to talk about uh, some of the things that have happened in the past 10 years and what I think about the game and the series. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is how I got into Watch Dogs because I didn't play it uh, right when it came out. I didn't even know it existed for a couple years. I first played Watch Dogs when I was just getting into PC gaming which would have been around early 2017. I think I had it on my wish list, and uh, I was able to make a large purchase of games all at once uh, right around the time summer started. That purchase included Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs 2, Fallout 4, Quantum Break, Rocket League, Super Hot, and Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now, I actually posted on Reddit uh, this kind of shopping cart uh, that I had put together, uh, and the number one thing people were telling me to do was to remove Watch Dogs. I, uh, Decided against it, and that was probably the best decision I ever made. Also, when I decided to stop listening to other people's opinions when it comes to games, because the Watch Dogs franchise became my favorite game series of all time. I remember the first time I played Watch Dogs 1, it took me quite a while to get through some missions, especially the one where you're trying to stop those guys and you're in Pawnee. I forget what it's called exactly. But yeah, it would be about two years before I ever made a Watch Dogs video. I think it was on a leak or some sort, uh, some sort of rumor. And then I started talking about uh, when Watch Dogs Legion was announced at E3. And then the first Watch Dogs mod video I ever did was in March of 2020. One of the biggest kind of controversies involving Watch Dogs, I'm sure we all know, is the E3 controversy. And that was, uh, well, if you don't know, it was one of the biggest graphical downgrades when you think of graphical downgrades from trailer to game. And I guess I can see how if you were waiting for the game and you you saw the trailer and you were super hyped and you bought the game and it looked a lot different than the trailer, how you could be upset. But for me personally, I didn't even know about this controversy, let alone I don't even think I watched the trailer before I bought the game. I pretty much went into it blind and it was only after I beat the game when I found out about it and I wasn't even then I wasn't really too upset about it like the game looks fine I'm not like you know every game needs to you know look insane but I, I definitely get where people are coming from graphics have never been a, a real big sticking point for me I mean like I love like the original Half-Life, Half-Life 2, games like that, which, you know, most gamers nowadays, like the graphics would be just like an instant turn off. But I do still think that Ubisoft was definitely in the wrong for that. And while there isn't a mod that, you know, completely perfectly replicates the E3 2012 or 2013 trailers, a lot of them have improved the game in many ways and brought many graphical improvements. Now, I would say the other controversy when it comes to Watch Dogs is definitely the story or more specifically, Aiden. A lot of people, at least around release didn't like Aiden they didn't like how like dark and brooding he was but I don't know I just didn't see it that way I really I really like the story I, I did think uh, Aiden's kind of the face he makes when he's like running was a little weird but I love the story and you know playing it the first time was one of the pivotal moments for me when it comes to gaming if there's one game that I could forget and play again for the first time it would definitely be Watch Dogs I feel like there's nothing else like it and it definitely shaped my taste in games as I've gotten older. Now I wanted to talk about some of the more recent things uh, involving Watch Dogs. And I feel like for the past year or two, there's been rumors and and leaks of like Ubisoft is done with Watch Dogs and you know, some actual credible stuff like them basically relocating the entire development team for Watch Dogs. And I try not to pay too much attention to that uh, because it's like, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. If they are done with Watch Dogs, that sucks. And it kind of uh, brings up another point which I wanted to talk about, which is I really wish Ubisoft didn't own this IP. Like, I feel like there are so many other development studios that could do a much better job with the series, not just as far as making games, but also just PR and like how they use the IP and other things like the launcher, at least for PC, uh, having to launch you play every single time I launch Watch Dogs is the most annoying thing ever. And it sucks even more by the fact that you play just sucks as a launcher. Like it is the worst launcher I've ever used on PC. And that's saying a lot because the Epic Game Store exists. I think I'll actually be making a video in a couple weeks uh, talking about, you know, kind of theorizing what Watch Dogs would look like if the IP was owned by different development studios. But yeah, I want to know what you think about Watch Dogs as a whole. Were you one of the people that were originally disappointed by the E3 graphics controversy? Do you think Watch Dogs could still continue either by Ubisoft or a different company? Let me know. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.